We are just in the process of marking uh, her eyelids, her upper eyelids, for her bilateral upper lip left. And so you can see I've just started to mark here. This is the lower part of the incision. It's in that crease that's in everybody's eyelid. And you'll notice when you look at her eyelids, there's uh, uh, some excess skin all the way across this. There's some fullness here on this nasal side. So there's a nasal fat pocket that when we do the do the surgery, we won't just be taking off some uh, skin and maybe tightening some muscle, we'll also access that fat pocket. We will uh, improve that area. Now is a very important step. We take a little pickup, right? And then we, we sort of make a determination as to how much skin to remove. So we typically do a little pinching and we look how much skin we can remove just until the eyelashes on the upper eyelid start to kind of curl up a bit. So now I have a judgment of that and then we make the line for the upper incision. Ultimately connect it, the lower incision on the upper eyelid. Okay, so that gives you a sense there as to what kind of skin we're going to remove. All right, and now we're gonna repeat the same thing from the, from the beginning with the other eyelid. So I think that's pretty symmetric and it accounts for the subtle asymmetries that are in the uh, patient's eyelids, just as everybody else's. So we're gonna go ahead and inject her now with our combination of Marcaine and Lidocaine and uh, get her ready for the case.